There is a growing demand for learning new techniques and sharing innovative ideas in a very competitive business environment. Every year, Curry Life, in association with food industry partners, create this opportunity for everyone to come together at this culinary workshop and dinner. At this event, the chefs and restaurateurs get the chance to share hints, tips and innovative ideas with acclaimed chefs, restaurant managers and industry experts. Curry Life has done a lot of international events, like you know, international food festivals, taking chefs to many different countries uh, to earn more skills or uh, to do culinary exchange between uh, you know, different foods. In today's event, how to manage waste in the kitchen, improving hygiene skills, presentation. We had speakers who have uh, said about, you know, how to make more profit on selling drinks and other things, how to maximize business. End of the day, if we can maximize, put money, more money into the pocket, it matters for the businessman. This time, Curry Life Events has pulled together a group of chefs to prepare and deliver a special British curry menu for this evening's dinner. Alongside this group of champion curry chefs, a Michelin star chef is also preparing the dessert. For the first time, we are using our chef who has been to many Curry Life events. They are cooking in tonight for our own event. So this is something we are experimenting tonight and I hope you would love it. So, let's see and hear about the chefs behind this challenge. Abu Mansur, head chef, Taj Cuisine Group, Chatham, Kent. Abu Mansur is an award-winning chef who's been a leading figure in the development of British Indian cuisine during the past 30 years. His tireless invention and creativity is an inspiration to fellow curry chefs. For tonight, what we're doing, like the very, very popular dishes, like chicken tikka masala, we're doing balthies, and we do a lot more other dishes. I think masala is like not for Western palate, for the Asian palate as well. We do it completely with a different recipe, different technique we're using. I think all the people, will, all the guests will enjoy it, what we are doing. Abel is one of an elite group of best of British chefs who participate in the Taste of Britain Curry Festival, which tours the world promoting the unique British curry. And I think the best thing is about it, uh, taking part in those things is very important what Curry Life's doing, bringing skill to a lot of our young chefs and uh, like myself, I learned a lot of tricks, went to a lot of different festivals over India and all, all over the country really. I put a, you know, big appeals to all the bosses, T send your chefs to those kind of events to learn a lot of things and you can share your technique with other, your colleagues and that improve your business a lot. Saeed Juhurul Islam, head chef, the Capital Restaurant, County Durham. Chef Saeed Zahurul Islam is the executive chef and driving force behind some of the most successful restaurants in the northeast of England. His flagship restaurant, The Capital, is located in the beautiful university town of County Durham. His restaurants have won a string of awards, and Saeed has also earned several international accolades. <laughs> Vijay Singh Panwa, consultant chef, Curry Life magazine. Currently, London-based chef Vijay Panwa started his career with JW Marriott in Mumbai, India, 2003. He moved to the UK in 2010, and having spent few years in Birmingham, he then joined the London's most iconic restaurant, the Red Fort in Soho, where he worked continuously for six years. In 2016, Vijay Panwa made his debut at the Taste of Britain Curry Festival, held at the ITC Moria, New Delhi, India. I लाइफ के साथ में मैं बहुत टाइम से काम कर रहा हूं और मैंने देखा है इसमें बहुत सारी चीजों में बहुत बहुत बेनिफिट है और मैं थैंक यू कहना चाहूंगा करियर लाइफ को बिकॉज़ उन्होंने मुझे अपॉर्चुनिटी दी है इससे मैंने बहुत सारी चीजें सीखी है और जो शेफ लोगों का नेटवर्क आपस में है इससे मेरा नेटवर्क काफी बड़ा है मैंने बहुत सारे अच्छे को जाना है उनसे कुछ सीखा है शायद उन्होंने भी कुछ मुझसे सीखा होगा बट आई एम लाइफ दिस काइंड ऑफ ग्रेट चांस Rupert Rowley, head chef, Fisher Barslow Hall, Derbyshire. 
A native Yorkshireman, Rupert Rowley trained and graduated from the Sheffield Catering College. He started his career with Raymond Blanc's restaurant, then he moved to work for the infamous John Burton race. In 2001, Rupert decided to brave the kitchens of Gordon Ramsay at his flagship eponymous three Michelin star Chelsea restaurant. Rupert has been head chef for Fisher's Barslow Hall in Derbyshire since 2003, where he has achieved his own Michelin star and holding it for 22 continuous years. His passion and love for curry led him to join forces with Curry Life's festival team to tour India earlier this year. One of the main reasons is because I, I want to go to India, I want to go and see the culture and see out there, look at the food, see new ingredients, see new, new foods, new techniques, um, new culture and all of that. But also working with somebody like Curry Life magazine who is, is as passionate about the Cajun industry obviously within their field, within the curry field. Um, it's something that I'm quite, quite passionate about myself within the food industry, promoting anything that helps promote British food, whether it be British curry, British this, British that. that that's what I'm very passionate about. He'll be touring again next year to Sri Lankan capital Colombo with his Taste of Britain Festival, which showcases not only the British curry, but also the best that British cuisine has to offer. After this event, we have big events coming in 27 October. That's the biggest event of Curry Life calendar, which is Curry Life Award uh, in Lancaster Hotel on 22nd October. Then early uh, in the year in January, Curry Life is leading a team, uh, team of chefs with Rupert Rowley to uh, Colombo in Hilton. For the first time, we are doing a uh, food festival in uh, Hilton in Colombo. And I hope we will have next year also is more busier than this year.